In this video, we are going to talk about constructors, um, what their role is with classes, um, kind of how to use them, and how they are awesome and magic, um, for real. So <coughs> uh, we have created this rectangle class, um, and it's pretty basic. Um, we've got get length, set length, get width, set width. Um, I already have a constructor built, so let's go ahead and get rid of that, and we'll go ahead and show how to build that. Um, and so if we create, or if we instantiate an object of type rectangle, um, then if I were to output length and, you know, rectangle dot get length, well, when this rectangle object is instantiated, length right now doesn't have a value. And so this should either throw an error or give us a garbage value, and there's our garbage value. Um, depending on which version of the of depending on which version compiler you have, then it will either throw an error or just give us this garbage value right here. Um, and so, as you can see, we have our garbage value. That's no good. So, in order to uh, move away from that or to solve that problem, um, there are kind of two options: is we can put rectangle dot set length to ten, and then now we can do this, and obviously it will just return ten. But this is kind of tedious to have to worry about initializing um, every piece of data before you can use it, like manually. That, that's kind of rough on us as programmers. And so instead what we can do is we can simply create a constructor which creates default values for us. And so to do this, we go inside public, and construct constructors should always be public. That's very important because otherwise you can't call them. And we simply put the name of the class and then parentheses and a semicolon. And this is our header or our prototype for um, the constructor, which is a method. And now we go into our implementation file. And we're going to go ahead and right here we'll build ourselves a constructor. And so we'll just put rectangle, rectangle. And then in here we'll give length a default value of 10, and width, uh, we'll give it a default value of, let's say, 5. And there we go. Now we've created this. This is magic. Like, really. How constructors work, and why I say that they're magic, is because constructors are automatically and magically called uh, whenever you instantiate an object of that type. For example, at this point, I've just created a rectangle object called rectangle. And rectangle will automatically have a length set to 10 and a width set to 5. So if we see out width and rectangle.getWidth, then we'll go ahead and check to see if it's actually magic. And sure enough, 10, 5. Magic. Um, and so. As you can see, this is basically all there is to it. This is just a default constructor, meaning that it hasn't been passed any parameters. And all it does is it sets the length equal to 10 and the width equal to 5. Now, it is possible to create parameterized or overloaded constructors um, by passing it a value. And this is the same as overloading functions. Um, and so let's just say that we'll pass it a double length. And then we will say rectangle rectangle and it's going to take a double L so not not length. we'll go back and rename this L I'm um, really we'll just put double in here because it's a prototype and we will say length equals L and we will reset width equal to 5 and there we go we have uh, just created a parameterized or overloaded constructor um, which allows us to set the length on the fly and we can actually create another one uh, like this which will take both a length and a width. Um, and so it will look like this. Double W, length equals L, width equals W. And we have just created three constructors. And then how we call them, how we call each one is this is calling the default. And we will say rec1, it would help if I spelled rectangle correctly, rec1. And we'll pass it a length of 6 and rectangle 
and we'll say rec two, and we will pass it a length of seven and a width of eight. And so this is how you call the constructors, um, and you can uh, kind of like specify which one you want to call using these parentheses. And so it does look kind of strange. Once again, it is magic, so just know that it's magic, just accept that it's magic, and if you understand how it works, that's great, and if not, then just know that it's magic and this is how to use it.